Hello everyone, welcome back to Comment Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. Today, we shall discuss health indicators. This is a very important topic for exam purpose. Maybe you have come across some long questions or short notes from this particular topic. For example, I have given few questions here. The first question is a long question which says, what is an indicator? What are the characteristics of an ideal indicator? Enumerate different health indicators where you have to write the names of different health indicators and then describe with examples some of the mortality indicators because mortality indicators is the most uh, important and commonly asked part from all the health indicators. So this can be a long question. Alternatively, you can also get lots of short notes from this topic. For example, crude death rate, infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate or ratio. Those two are different obviously. Proportional mortality rate, case fatality rate, quali, daily, etc. So all these things will be discussed under the topic health indicators in subsequent videos. To start with, we shall again uh, revise the definition of health that we discussed earlier in our previous video. So health as defined by World Health Organization is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity and a phase has been added to this definition to amplify it which says the ability to lead a socially and economically productive life. Now, what is the problem with this definition? The thing is, health cannot be measured in exact measurable form. So, uh, it cannot be measured because it is not a quantifiable thing. Uh, it is a status, right? So, you cannot say my health is better than yours or my health is higher than yours, something like that. Because you cannot directly measure health. So, what we can do, we can indirectly measure uh, in terms of illness or lack of health or maybe based on some consequences of ill health like morbidity, mortality. Morbidity means presence of diseases or other uh, health status, health related events, etc. Mortality means death and then economic, occupation, domestic factors that can promote ill health. So some of the factors that can have influence on diseases or health status. So we can uh, by this me method or measures uh, indirectly quantify the health. Now, what is an indicator? They are uh, the variables which measures any change. So this definition is given by WHO. Indicators are variables which measure changes. And they indicate any uh, given situation or reflection of that situation. So uh, what is the status of health of a particular person or a group of people in a community at any particular moment that can be indicated by an indicator. So it is also a direct or indirect reflection of the situation. Health indicator is a variable and susceptible to direct measurement that reflects the state of health of persons in a community. So as I mentioned, we can use health indicator to measure the health status of people in the community. So health indicators can be measured directly, but we have to remember that the health indicators are itself indirect measurement of the health status of the people. Indicators help us to measure the extent to which the different objectives and targets of different health programs are being attained. So basically where we are right now and where we want to be, we can compare these two status and decide how much we have to go further. Uh, that will also tell us about the efficiency of the ongoing health programs. For example, if uh, our target is to achieve a maternal mortality ratio 
to less than 100 and right now say we have about 120 so that means we are not there yet and we still have to decrease the maternal mortality ratio in our country now we can have different types of health indicators for example health status indicators measures different status of the health of the pupil for example life expectancy infant mortality disability or chronic disease rates etc so this is health status indicators which measures the health status of the pupil or the population whereas we can also have health determinant is indicated and that as the name suggests uh, it tells us about different determinants or different factors which has influence on health for example diet smoking water quality income that is the socioeconomic status and access to the health services all these things can have influence on the health status of a person or in a given community so if measured sequentially over time so that, that means if it is measured uh, multiple times over a period of time it can indicate the direction as well as the speed of change that means whether the uh, condition of the health status of the people in a community is uh, getting better or getting worse whether the different risk factors different determinants they are increasing or decreasing that will ultimately help us to uh, have an idea about in which direction we are going and also it will help us to compare between different groups of people or people living in different geographical area for example the health status of one country to another country etc uh, over a period of time so these are the importance of health determinants and different health indicators coming to the next part that is the characteristics of an ideal health indicator a very commonly asked viva question can also be a part of long question or even a short note the first characteristic is validity or we can say the indicator should be valid what does it mean the indicator should be able to measure what they are supposed to measure say in a given population i want to know the situation of infant deaths the ideal indicator that is valid in, in this situation is infant mortality rate. Now suppose I measure the maternal mortality ratio in this population. That will tell us about the maternal death in the given population, not about the infant death. So that is why maternal mortality ratio is not a valid tool to assess the infant mortality. Whereas infant mortality rate is the valid tool for assessing the infant mortality in that given population so this is validity <clears throat> next is the reliability we say an indicator is reliable when we get similar results when measured by different people in the same circumstance so if i use a particular indicator to assess something in a given population and then another investigator uses the same indicator to measure the same thing in the same population he should be getting results which are very similar to my results in that case we shall say that the indicator is reliable so does not matter how many people are using the same indicator in the same population in the given circumstance or similar circumstance all of us should be getting very similar results so this is reliability what about sensitivity these indicators should be sensitive to changes in the situation concerned so if there is any minor change in the given situation suppose if there is uh, a sudden increase in number of maternal deaths in a given population the indicator should be sensitive enough to detect that small change next is the specific or specificity and the indicator should reflect only the situation concerned same example if we are using maternal mortality ratio it should be able to detect or reflect any change whenever there is any change in the maternal death if there is any change in the infant death in the given population that should not be reflected by the maternal mortality ratio indicator so the indicator will reflect change only in the situation that is concerned that is of concern to us feasible it should be feasible that means something that we can actually use nothing very complicated and should be uh, able to obtain data whenever we need it so data collection or the information gathering should be easy nothing complicated that we may not be able to do in real life situation and relevant 
relevant means they should contribute to the understanding of the phenomenon of interest so something of importance if we are talking about very rare things which are very rare uh, maybe some very rare disease or maybe very rare manifestation of a very common disease it is not very relevant because those are mostly not of public health importance rather we should be uh, using some indicators which are relevant to the situation for example infant mortality maternal mortality uh, anemia in uh, women uh, pregnant lactating mothers etc etc maybe uh, tb detection rate uh, hiv detection rate etc so all these things which are very relevant to public health importance so these are all the characteristics of different uh, health indicators this is very important coming to the last part of today's discussion that is the classification sometimes uh, in the question you are asked to enumerate the different health indicators enumeration means you just have to write the names please whenever you see enumeration this word in your question just write the names you do not have to describe it unless it is asked if they if the question ask to ask you to describe the different health indicators then you have to describe them otherwise if it says enumerate then just write the names and that is more than enough so there are different kind of health indicators this list has been taken from the book of park which is a standard test book for undergraduate as well as postgraduate uh, students so what are the different indicators we have mortality indicators indicating different death rates then you have morbidity indicators disability rates nutritional indicators uh, indicating the nutritional status of the pupil healthcare delivery indicators utilization rates how much the different health services are being utilized by the pupil for whom the services are there uh, then we have indicators of social and mental health environmental indicators lots of environmental factors can lead to occurrence of disease so this is why this is also very important socioeconomic indicators health policy indicators indicators of quality of life social indicators basic indicators special indicators so these are more or less the list uh, of different indicators that we need to know uh, from the next video we shall be talking about different indicators especially in the next video we shall be talking about only the mortality indicators because there are a lot of indicators in the list and uh, they are asked in the short note uh, many times they are asked in the viva about the crude death rate uh, disease specific death rate proportional death rate case fatality rate etc etc we shall be talking about all these death rates in our next video so with this uh, we conclude today's session and what we have learned today we have learned what is an indicator what are the characteristics of an ideal indicator and also what are the different health indicators we have enumerated the whole list uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates, juniors and friends. Also, we have a Facebook page that you can follow. The link is given in the description. Take care and we shall see you in our next video.